Hey everybody, Paul from Avalon here, and in this video I want to show you something really cool that I've just discovered, and that is how to do some simple bookkeeping with AI, and maybe a better way to say it is how to get AI to do your bookkeeping for you. It's a very simple process. All we need is maybe a Google login. So if you have a Gmail account and Google Sheets, you can use those. And then we download a simple extension in Chrome and we're good to go. First step will be to log into your Gmail account and open up Google Sheets. So you can see here, I have a Google Sheet open with some transactions. I'll get to those in a second. What I have is the Avalon bookkeeping template, and you can use this too. I've linked in the description here. There's a video that shows you how to use this template, and there's also a link there that'll take you right to this template, and you can use it yourself. And I'll quickly just do a brief overview of how it works. We have a few different tabs at the bottom. It's got a bookkeeping tab, an income statement tab that's currently empty, and then some transaction types. What it does is it uses a sum if formula, sum if, to pull the information from the bookkeeping tab. And this here, meals and entertainment, is the same as this meals and entertainment right there. And it's the same as this meals and entertainment from this drop down menu there. So the second step is going to be just Google, Google simple ML, and we're gonna click on that first result and we get this Google Workspace Marketplace and we can install simple ml for sheets and so if you have a team you can use the admin installation and if it's just you there's going to be a single install right there and that's what i've done i've just used the single install i didn't install it for the whole team and it added this extension to my google sheets so back over to google sheets now that we've completed that step the next thing we wanna do is just grab the transactions that we're gonna use in our bookkeeping. I've just entered some sort of general bookkeeping that would be a fictional e-commerce business here. So I've got a year's worth of transactions. We've got everything from insurance to revenue to lots of software subscriptions. You can see I've got about 400 transactions through this whole fictional year here. What we want to do is take this information and start categorizing it so that we can use it to either file a tax return or compile an income statement. So now to get down to the actual bookkeeping, you could do this in a separate sheet as well if you just wanted to download a CSV of your bank account transactions or your credit card transactions. You can just download that CSV and start categorizing in the right hand side. And from there, that's gonna be a really good way for either your accountant or tax preparer to use that information to actually file those taxes. Or you can do it yourself if you're pretty comfortable using some formulas in Google Sheets. Okay, but really what I wanna show is how to use AI to record these transactions. First thing we need to do is start categorizing a few of these on our own, and that's gonna teach the extension how we want these categorized. So it's machine learning, meaning that it is going to learn how we do things based on a sample. So what I'll do is I'm gonna categorize this first month. So the month of January, I'll go ahead and record how I want those to be categorized. And then we're gonna teach this tool how to record the rest of it. And it's gonna save us like 11 months worth of bookkeeping because we just need to do one and it's gonna do the rest for us. To start giving the idea here, I'm gonna start categorizing. This is insurance. So there we go, I've typed in insurance. I could just use the drop down as well. This is gonna be software subscriptions. And again, I'm just pulling these from the transaction types and there's a drop down there. So Google G Suite is gonna be also software subscriptions. You'll probably see a lot of those for this type of business. WeWork, we're gonna call that rent. Amazon, this is office expenses. It, I mean, it could be other things, but whatever you wanna classify it as. Digital River is also software subscriptions car park, we're gonna call that travel. So I won't make you watch me categorize all of these transactions. So we're gonna to cut to me having just recorded all of those. Okay, magic of editing, I've now completed one month worth of transactions. We can see here, I've got things like wages. So I have some employees, I pay them through some software called WagePoint. I have some sales that just shows up in a deposit. So I've recorded those as my revenue or my income. I've made some purchases of computer equipment. I've got some office equipment. So now that I have one month of transactions categorized, I can go ahead and I can pull up the machine learning extension. It's just in the extensions menu. I can click simple ML for sheets and then click start. It's gonna do some working to get this open and then it's gonna pull it up in a sidebar on the right hand side there. So we can do a few things with this. 
extension, we can have it predict missing values, which is exactly what we want to do here. We want it to predict the rest of these transaction types for us. If we had a whole bunch of data and we wanted to check for errors, we can use it to spot abnormal values. If there are some patterns, we could run this machine learning on a set of data and it's going to try and tell us where we might have made errors or just highlight some and we can do some human powered checking instead of just leaving it up to AI here. We can also train some models, evaluate different models, but really those are advanced and I don't know how to use them. So we're going to stick with predict missing values here. So I'm going to click that one. And where do we want to predict values? That's in the transaction type column. And it's already guessed that for us because it saw all those missing values. From there, we're going to open up this source columns. And this is where we teach the machine learning how to record the rest of the transactions based on the descriptions that we've already included, the date and the amount. I don't know if date's really going to do anything for it to teach it how to record these, but amount could definitely. You know, we have sales. It's this really large amount. It's probably going to use that information to try and classify sales based on some of the larger amounts. But really, everything's just going to have a similar transaction description every month. So that's typically what it's going to use to learn how to record it going forward. So we've just leave these all selected and we're going to click predict. It's going to run through its script and it's going to give us some warnings. It's saying, hey, you only filled out 31 rows. I would prefer that you filled out 50 to give us a better idea, but it's not such a big deal. You can see there, you've only filled out 31 rows. It's not such a big deal because the data is pretty consistent, at least here. And then it's tried to fill in column F there, but we don't actually need column F. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. All we need is these transaction types here in column E, and we can have a look, review them, make sure they make sense, and then just copy and paste them all into column D. So you can see we've got intact insurance. That's insurance. Yep, that looks great software subscriptions, all these software subscriptions. It's done a good job, except it didn't classify Facebook advertising correctly. So maybe I should have gone back and recorded more like 50 rows to get it to do it properly. So yeah, it's probably a good idea to actually heed the warnings and fill out 50 rows instead of being a little bit lazy like I did. But it actually works pretty well. I'm going to just grab all this data, copy it and paste it into the appropriate column that we wanted there. And here it goes in that column and then I can delete column E. I don't need that information anymore and I'm going to collapse this. So the next thing I just want to show you what it's done. It's categorized all of these transactions for us. It has the sales amount. It has rent. That's accurate. I think the only major mistake I can see that it made is it's called the Facebook advertising software. And that's probably because I had so many software subscriptions and also I didn't actually fill in 50 rows like it expected me to. So we have our income statement. We've got all of our sales that's categorized correctly, thankfully. And then rent looks good. Software is the only one that I think a big chunk of that should be in advertising. And we can correct that ourselves or going forward, I'm just going to teach it a little bit better by filling in at least 50 rows there. So from here, we have everything that we need to actually go and prepare an income tax return. We've got our income, we have our expenses, we have this net income, and we have our asset purchases. They're dealt with a little bit differently on the tax return. So that's why we've broken those out separately. And again, if you're curious about how this bookkeeping template works, you can check that link and you can quickly fill it in. And now you can use some AI to cut down on the time it takes you to do that bookkeeping. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, it was just a cool little trick that I found online and AI is coming along in leaps and bounds, which is 50% amazing and 50% terrifying, I find, but it can do really neat stuff and that's gonna save people a lot of time. So I hope you found it helpful and thanks for watching.